my identity as a black person in a mixed family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think I felt a lot of pressure to be a certain type of black woman. Okay. They were they were always talking about education and and jobs that had accreditation, like being a lawyer or a yeah, doctor. Yeah, yeah. They really would speak about my future in that way that felt very heavy handed to me, even as a little girl. And also I like conformed to it for a long time. I can see that. Yeah. I would, you know, I was very studious. I was straight A, honor roll. I graduated with honors. It was very important to me. But now looking back, I was very creative and I was much more of an artist and I was much more into music uh, and acting yeah, yeah, yeah. and singing, but I never felt like I had space to do that. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Mm. I actually, you know so I feel like we're around the same age and I feel like there's something about like I don't know when we grew up there was like all this like negativity uh, about black women because like yes. the welfare queen and stuff like that so yeah. when our generation came they like really was like you gotta go to school Absolutely. you gotta do this yeah. and, you, and it's true now black women are like I don't know they have we have the most degrees mm -hmm. for no reason I don't know just why just educated and out here for, and still underpaid like what was underpaid. all that what just was all frustrated that? <laughs> all these books we don't read at home <laughs> why they do that to us <laughs> it's a lot of pressure they did. They pass it down, you know, that, that American dream that it's, not, is oh, it's not, you know, everybody has to do their own thing.